people, welcome back to the Baker Spirit channel. Hope you're all having an amazing week. Um, we're doing yet another video, um, trying to recover or recompensate after the few days I've been off. And it is another Karate Combat 43 video. And this time it's going to be on the main event, Anthony Showtime Pertis versus Benson Henderson. Now this fight's caused a bit of a stir. Um, a lot of people clearly felt like Henderson was robbed or that he should have gotten over the nod um, over Anthony Pettis uh, and that the score between these two fighters should be 2-1 not 3-0 to showtime so well, today we're going to be looking at did the judges get it right was Benson robbed should they run it back so I'm going to be looking at all of that but also guys before I go ahead make sure you smash that subscribe button I'm trying to get to 50 uh, before 2024 so um yeah trying to get the 50 so make sure you smash the subscribe button smash the like button but let's get right into it now one more thing as well um people saying that oh you know this was a robbery or whatever i actually think the robbery of the night if we're going to call it that or the worst call from the judges on the night was actually shannon hudson against chinza machida i really thought shannon had that and i thought he was <laughs> i thought it was really hard done by but because that was like the old men's fight or whatever i felt like i went under a bit on the radar um, but I'm going to get onto that in another video. Now, bear in mind when uh, I know none, none of us are professional judges, or maybe you are, um, but I, I, I'm certainly not. But when, but when uh, as fans, we judge fights via our own scorecards and how we interpret a fight, we have to do it by the rules that we're given. And Karate Combat rules, or what we're meant to believe, the four main ones anyway, and it's on their website, you can go check it out. Aggress uh, effective striking, Effective takedowns or trips, aggressiveness, and defense. For example, you could be throwing absolutely loads, going super aggressive, um, but not really landing a lot, and but and you're getting clipped on the way in, and you're also getting taken down. But just because you you're throwing twice as much, but you're not landing anything, that doesn't necessarily that doesn't necessarily mean you've won the round or you've won the fight or whatever. So I think that's one thing to, to keep in mind and why uh, I came, one of the reasons why I came to my judgment in the end. Now, the first round, I gave that to Anthony Pettis, uh, a bit of a feeling out process, not uh, loads being thrown, it kind of warmed up towards the end of the round. Um, but he, I, th I think he just threw more eye-catching stuff, his kicks. Uh, when you when you saw Showtime going into like stance and then pulling up the gi trousers, you thought, "Oh my God, we're going to get something special here." Um, but that was, you know, that that's the real. We didn't really see many like Showtime kicks or anything like that. Although in the first round, you did see he was thinking about throwing one when he went onto the pit, um, onto the pit wall, but he didn't throw one. Um, <clears throat> I mean, oh well, it, the fight became what it was. But yeah, I gave the first round, I gave to Anthony Pettis. For me, that was pretty clear. Um, and the, But then moving on to the second round, now this is where the Benson uh, game plan and dominance really started for me. Um, Benson, what I thought he did really cleverly, obviously aware of how uh, dangerous Anthony Pettis' kicks are. He uh, nailed the calf uh, kicks and... Uh, yeah, just threw loads of calf kicks, and that really did hinder Pet not just Pettis' uh, movement, um, but also his ability to throw a kick. Because obviously, when you're throwing a kick, you've got to put so much force on the back foot just to generate the power and the swing. Um, so I thought he did that really cleverly. Um, also, one more thing: didn't Pettis look like really filled out? That's something that I, I knew this was at a catch rate at 170. Um, but these guys, when they fought in the UFC, uh, they're like roughly like they were out, they were around, they were lightweights, weren't they? They're were like uh, 155, and they looked like relatively the same uh, size, whatever. But this one, and this was at 170, uh, which is a catch rate in karate combat, but welterweight in MMA. Um, he looked really filled out. He looked like not fat, but he looked like wise. I don't, I don't know. It was it was weird seeing that. Um, but yeah, anyway. Pettis, uh, Benson, I thought, won, won the second round pretty comfortably. Threw more, landed a couple. Pettis, don't get me wrong, had his moments. Um, but, you know, just the aggressiveness and the fact that he was landing a few shots. I gave that round to Benson Henderson plus the calf kick. So third round, very much uh, similar to the second. I gave also they gave that to Benson. Still sucked to his game plan. Was in Anthony Pettis' face, wasn't letting him set. 
uh, was blitzing a lot up against the pit wall, even tried to do a few uh, takedowns. I don't, I did every Pettis even, I mean, I've watched it twice now, but I can't actually remember Pettis trying to land a takedown or a triple of zone. I can only really remember them from Benson. Um, but obviously, it's not how many takedowns you do, it's uh, how effective they are, what damage they do, etc. Like I said before. Um, but yeah, again, I gave that to Benson. I thought that was a pretty solid round from him. Calf kicks, blitzing, blah, 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 all of that. Um, now, heading into the fourth, I was like, oh my God, I think Benson's going to, I really think Benson's just going to win this because Anthony Pettis, I don't know, he looked really flat footed. And like, maybe that goes back to when I said when I, I thought he looked really filled out, almost like he, he didn't look, uh, he, he, I don't know, he just didn't look like he was in top, top, top shape. And I know he's 36 for crying out loud. Um, but you know, Benson, but you know, Benson Henderson's 40 and, uh, to me, in me, in my opinion, he looked a little bit more fitter, um, than Pettis just from his, just from his body. Um, and also we had Hudson, the old boys, Hudson v versus Machida earlier in the night. And those guys are in their mid forties. Um, and those guys looked, uh, slimmer, um, albeit, I think it was at a lower weight, but still, uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. He, he didn't look. 100% fits me, Pierce, and I, I, he didn't look as low on his feet, and I just wondered, did he take this fight that seriously? I just, I do question whether he just didn't take it quite as seriously, whereas Benson, I think, took it very seriously. I mean, why, why wouldn't you? He's lost this guy twice, and you've got the chance to avenge one of those defeats um, in karate combat, so of course he's going to take it seriously, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but that's just what I think. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, round four. Um, super tight round. Generally could see it go either way. And if anything, I know I know I like to sit on the fence, but I just thought it was a I thought it was a draw. I thought Pettis um landed the more eye-catching stuff, and that was a theme throughout the fight. He he was landing the more eye-catching uh stuff, the kicks and all the high kicks. And don't get me wrong, Benson landed his his own, but it just, it didn't have the same, like, I don't know. We sometimes say in combat sports, there's no fat on the strikes and there just didn't seem to be a lot of fat on Pettis' kicks. Very, very beautiful to watch um, the way he did them. Um, but, but then Benson, same thing as that round two and round three, very aggressive, takedowns, calf kicks, just aggressiveness but then you've got but then pet as effective striking it's it was really hard like that was a super close round i think from round four onwards pettis realized oh shit i'm in a real fight here this isn't maybe what i thought it was going to be and i do i do think he turned it up um a bit so really close I either did a draw but i don't mind seeing it either way now going into the fifth round i thought this was pettis is arguably his best round uh Maybe obviously the first, but I thought this was, this was I thought this was his best. Um, again, uh, Benson um, just couldn't seem to be able, when he was blitzing and he was being super aggressive. Just didn't seem to have quite the same accuracy. I don't know if he looked like he was, he got a bit uh, a bit wild, a bit messy. Got a bit messy in the fifth. I thought, um, and yeah, he tried to turn it a bit more of a brawl. Um, and I just felt like that favoured Pettis more, his kick bunch combinations, which which did win him, I think, a lot of points in the judges' eyes. Um, that kick punch, uh, I think it was from the orthodox stance, uh, right cross kick to the body and then the a left hand or a left hook or whatever. Um, I, that, that was really good in this round, really effective. Um, and I think he he might have actually, I think he knocked Benson ha Henderson down in this round as well. I think he did knock him down in the fourth or the, or the third. Um, so there was also, I felt, a power advantage for Anthony Pettis in this fight as well. Because um, when Benson Henderson did really uh, crack, uh, try and crack one with Pettis, it didn't, just didn't seem to face him as much. Whereas it did the other way around. That's just how I saw it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give the fifth round to Anthony Pettis with his kicks, his power, effective striking and just paying for Benson Henderson when he was come, coming uh, on the way in. Now, if you go by that logic, then okay, first round Pettis, fifth round Pettis, that's two to him, two and three Benson, 
that's two to him and there's that there's a four round and i could just swing either way i had as a draw so to be honest going into the sixth round i'm not that mad that it went into that um uh, but so it did and uh and yeah i've got a, i'm the thing with karate combat six round the previous five rounds don't matter at all um and yeah i just i just thought pettis just edged it it was really close once again um and i know towards the end benson henderson was getting a few tech was get had a couple of takedowns but he he didn't do uh loads of them and i don't know i just a bit it was a bit it seemed like a bit of a continuation from the fifth i don't know if benson had blown a lot of his energy out in prior rounds um uh, I don't know if he, his gas can just went down a little bit where I felt like Pettis was just, he was getting, he's getting more into the fight as it went on. Um, so yeah, I get, I just edged it to Pettis, but it was super close. Um, similar to what he was doing that worked for him, the kick punch combo. Uh, he was starting to, he was starting, he also, he was checking a few of Benson's calf kicks, although in this round there weren't that so many. Um, yeah, and he was just catching Benson on the Henderson, the same stuff. Um, and yeah, I just thought Pettis edged it. But, but, but in saying that, I think, I mean, I thought Pettis was going to win. I didn't think he would knock Henderson out, but I did think he would be a bit more dominant than that. I didn't think he'd scrape past Benson Henderson. And let's be honest, that's what happened. He, he, did, he did scrape past him. Um, did he underrate him? I think he did a little bit. I do, I do think he did a little bit. Um, uh, but I think the fact that he was so much bigger than Henson, uh, than Benson on fight night, I think that really helped. Um, and just as he, he's just a better kicker, you know, he, he is. He's, he's just a better, more accurate kicker than Benson Henderson, in my opinion. Um, and I just think that paid dividends to him in the end. Um, but I wouldn't be mad to see a rematch. Now I don't. I know Pet. I know Pettis is actually on. I don't know how many fights are on his deal with Karate Combat, but I think he is on an exclusive deal with them, so he should have at least one more fight with them. Um, and I wouldn't be mad to see it again. Benson Henderson was Anthony Pettis for the fourth time. Yes, I know it's like a bit three and to Pettis at this point. Like, what's the point? But um, but it's Karate Combat. It's only one nil to Pettis in Karate Combat. So, but definitely not a main event. I think they should make that like a co-main event. Um, definitely not a main event. I think the main event stuff that's done for them now. Make it a main event, uh, co-main of like I don't know a title shot maybe, or maybe even uh, Nate Diaz. We saw Nate Diaz in the crowd saying that he'd be willing to get in there. So uh, maybe that's for another video. But yeah, for me. Anthony Pettis straight past Benson Henderson. It was a very close fight. I'd quite like to see the rematch because I think Benson Henderson deserves it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in this in the description down below. Do you think the right? Do you think uh, the judges got it right with Pettis, or do you think they got it wrong and Benson was a little bit robbed? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you press that subscribe button, uh, turn notifications on, like all that good stuff. Twitter, Instagram in the description down below. And I'll see you on the next one.